Yo, yo, what is going on, everybody? I am back at it with another amazing video long in the waits. I meant to upload this video last week, but um, with me working now, you know, excuse that. So um, I've been wanting to upload more for you guys. It's just work and stuff. But uh, I do want to thank you guys for 300 plus subscribers. We're so close to 400. Um, I will be doing a slight small giveaway if you guys want to um, enter. Just make sure you stay to the end to find out and what it is you will be winning. So let's get started with this huge collection pickup. All right, y'all, before we begin, I will say the games I got are from GameStop, Level 7 Games, and... Um, double jump video games, which was my very first time ordering from there. So, um, starting off with GameStop, um, I saw this game online on the website, and so it was on my list, and it's one I want to go complete, because if you have seen my previous videos, you know that this video was my very first Final Fantasy game, 10-2, and, um, yeah, I paid like 17, 18 bucks for this game. It's complete. I don't know why I'm opening it, but I um, thought I was, my receipt was in there or something, but it must be in a different game. Next up we have Mafia 3. I only bought this game because um, two reasons. One, if you saw The Old Country, right? If that's the new title of the next game coming, um, I bought it because of that reason. And also, I have not yet played Mafia 3, and it was taken off PlayStation Plus. So, this is one I have not yet to play. And the second reason is because of this. Mafia Definitive Edition. Both of these games I probably shouldn't have bought. They were too expensive, honestly. I think this one was like 20 and this one was like 15 way too expensive i overpaid for both of these games my dumb ass um but i have played this game it's not in the best condition as you can see but um uh in my previous video i did mention you can get case swaps and i did swap this case because the other one i got was in terrible condition and this one was gorgeous this one might have my receipt in it and it does but um yeah, shout out to my local GameStop. Next up, we have Borderlands 2. Yes, I did pay this price for it. Um, never played this game. I only got it because it was around the time when the movie was coming out. And that movie flopped. At least it did better than The Crow, I'm pretty sure. But, um, yeah, I only got this game because I have the first one. So I wanted the second one to complete the series. On PS3 so I was like why not it's cheap and so I got it but last for GameStop but not least this was probably the biggest find I've ever almost one of the biggest finds I've ever seen in GameStop even probably for the price almost BAM Alice Madness Returns yes I did keep the sticker on here for now just to show to prove to you guys that's what I paid 35 bucks for it i've never played this game never seen this game in the wild or ever before uh, i kind of knew it existed i've seen it in previous game collections that i've watched but um having this game it's worth like a 50 60 dollar game and i paid like 35 for it and so yep there's my receipt came complete perfect i will be playing this this halloween season so later this month so those are all the gamestop pickups um alice madness returns being the biggest find um final fantasy being a second because i definitely need to go play that game uh let me know what you think of the gamestop finds and let's get moving on anyway sorry about my shadow in that last clip so i'm doing it from a different angle um next up we have level seven games um we don't have game stores here in Colorado that I know of, really. We have Level 7 Games and GameStops. Um, I know people have game exchanges and all that other stuff, but I don't know anything in 
Colorado that we have, so I guess it's just those two. But anyway, starting off, we have Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. I did pay that sticker price, 10 bucks, but I only paid like $3 out of pocket because I had like a bunch of old sports PS3 games um, that I didn't want that my brother bought back in the day, so I traded those in and got $12 credit, and I only had to pay $3 out of pocket, so... I bought this game, Revenge of the Fallen, because I had it on PS2, so thought I'd buy it. Next up, yes, don't judge me, it is the greatest hits, and I did pay $5 for it. Um, never played this game. SOCOM, Navy SEALs, Fireteam Bravo. Let me know how you think it is down in the comments, I don't know. I don't know if it's online only, I don't think so, but uh, yeah. That's from Level 7 Games. Alright, y'all. Next one I forgot to add was Astrobot. Um, I did beat this game yesterday. Um, it's not yesterday as I'm putting this video out. Um, it is Saturday as I'm recording this. So, um, I did beat this game. It's really fun. I'm trying to get the Platinum, but I had to add that one in there real quick. All right, everybody, ending it off with Double Jump Video Games. This was my very first time buying for them from them. I do watch their channel on the daily or whatever. Whenever they upload, I'm always watching. So whenever you're watching this video, their last sale, their 50% off or whatever sale, I decided to buy from them just because even though I probably shouldn't have because I need to save money, but... um. It's whatever. So, um, starting off, I bought Hitman Absolution. I did not know it had this big-ass Walmart sticker on it, but it's it does change the value as well. So, but, um, I did pay five bucks for it. So, that's probably why I bought it. But I also do want to get into Hitman more. And this is one I wanted to play, so. Next up, we have... Overlord 2. I bought this game because my dad owned this on his PS3 and I liked it like controlling the minions and stuff I thought was fun and um, Being an overlord it, it, it was a pretty cool game. So um, You know, I liked it. Sorry. Sorry for that angle. My phone's dying. So but um, Yeah, this is in poor condition because it's got a tear and stuff and all that, but I didn't care because I wanted Overlord, so really good game. I wanted it, so next up, we have Red Faction Guerrilla, another cheap game. I wanted this game because I've always been wanting to play this game. Uh, I played it at a friend's house years and years ago. Shout out to Ian. Um, just the destruction in this game. I did play the sequel on 360. If you haven't go see the previous video, go watch that. It is the 360 video. But um, I bought this game because I played the sequel and this game seems fun. So I bought it. Next up, Peter Jackson's King Kong, the official game of the movie. I bought this game because my dad owned this on his PSP. And he had a loose copy, but... Um, I never got far in this game, but I will now because I really, I really wanted this game. Honestly, that was on the list too. So, um, yeah. Next up, we have Dissidia Final Fantasy. Um, for PSP, it is a Japanese copy. Um, as you can tell by the label and stuff, but it my PSP is the Japanese version and the PSP is um region free I'm pretty sure so um I don't think I'll play that cuz I won't be able to really so next up Disney's GeForce so the rest of these games I tried buying a Gizmo plush from them but they didn't have it in stock apparently because I guess maybe someone bought it in store or something. I don't know. Because they get first dibs or something. I don't know. But um, also, 
um, the gizmo plush they didn't have. So instead of getting a refund, I just asked them, could you fill that eighteen ninety nine with cheap PSP games or whatever? And so they gave, basically gave me a mystery box, and this might be their cheapest mystery box that they've ever done. So, um, yeah, I low-key kind of did a mystery box. <laughs> um, so, shout out to Double Jump Video Games. Um, shout out to everybody on the crew. Um, you guys are amazing. Keep up the funny content. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, Disney GeForce, I bought. If you ever seen the movie... I don't know. I didn't buy this. They they gave it to me because it was their cheapest copy, but the case is cracked. No, it's not. That's just the, the, the manual, but um, the case does feel weird. Like it doesn't shut right. Next up, we have Hot Pixel. This game goes for like 10 bucks or so, so this game was underpriced. Um, it's just a bunch of mini games or whatever, so whoever chose this game... I'm going to guess it was either Colton. I don't know why. I don't know why. I just feel like if I know it was pulled by Cooper, but if someone had to say, I don't know. I don't know why. That's just my guess. And then next up, Online Chess Kingdoms. Um, this was also underpriced, I think. But um, yeah, it's chess. Um, I'll be trying all these games but don't think i'll be getting into that game that much but um yeah guys anyways that is all of the games from um double jump video games let me know how you think i did and uh let's wrap this video up so yeah guys thank you again so much for watching that is the recent gaming haul um like a month and a half worth of uh making this video for you guys because i didn't want to just bring some half-baked video but uh let me know how you think i did um shout out to double jump video games again and um make sure you go subscribe to them check them out if you never have and um make sure you subscribe to the channel for more gaming related content but before we get out of here i just want to say thank you guys for almost 400 subscribers um, as a small giveaway kind of thing if you want to win. Um, I do have an extra copy of Borderlands 3 Ultimate Edition for PS5. It is sealed, brand new. This game is pretty rare. Um, I don't know how rare it is now, but um, I bought this one time for GameStop for 20 bucks, and I bought two copies, so I don't need two copies, clearly. So... It, it goes for more brand new, I mean open. So if you guys want this game for free, um, either be my 400 subscriber or let me know once, let, or go hit me up on Twitter, actually. Yeah, go hit me up on Twitter if you want this game. That'll be the best way to do it. Link down below. Whoops, I just hit my finger. <laughs> Link down below. And um, if you do want to win this game, thank you guys again so much for almost 400 subscribers in less than a month. So this has been the gaming collection haul once again. Let me know how you think I did. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out, everybody.